Hey up. People say I look a bit like John L. Sullivan. What's the thing to Tash? Anyway, a shave. We've had um, a bit of a special week. I've had a parcel come through from Sweden and I've had this lovely razor come from Johan. Thank you very much, Johan. He sorted that out for me. Um, recommended by Matty, the maestro, uh, a CV Hellier Strand. Let's have a look. Number 31. And I've seen everybody getting these and I, I needed to get on board. So I, I, I sent a message across to, to Johan and he uh, kindly sorted one out for me. Sent it across. So I shall be using this. It's honed. It's ready to go. I just give it a quick strop on some leather. And, and this is what I shall be using tonight. And also, I will be using this. This is a new soap that I have got. And this is fantastic. Look at the artwork on that. It is beautiful. It's Phoenix and Bo's Halloween special. Empress Rising. Now, I know Johan's done a, a video today and he's been rattling on about aloes and death and all sorts of stuff <clears throat> and exotic scents and, and I really agree with him about Barrister and Man. I think the fantastic scents is one of my favourite soaps. Uh, soap makers, Bar uh, Will from Barrister and Man, absolutely fantastic. But this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain my, what my feelings are for this soap and I hope it doesn't come across as too bad for Sarah and Kerry um, because this soap is it's phenomenal, it's great, I really like it but I'm going to describe it, how I, I, what I got from it when I first opened it and used it. Now as you can see it's got rose around the perimeter, look at the artwork Sarah is absolutely unbelievable. And then you've got a young a young girl, obviously zombified, who's creepily looking at every at, at you through these roses. And then you've got the little the little death's head moth there. Uh, that's obviously some sort of nod to Hannibal Lecter. Um well, possibly, I don't know. Uh, but when I when I first opened this soap, let me get let, while I'm chatting. Let me start sorting out my pre pre shave routine. Also, as well, timed today by Amiga Pre Bond. Look at the bracelet on that. Fantastic! I love that one. So this is what's timing me today. So a little bit of bloom water in there. Don't care if I upset people with bloom watering. It's what I do with some of my soaps. So the bloom water will go in the Phoenix and Ball lathering bowl. <clears throat> so when I what I get from this Earth. My first impression was when um when I were a young lad, there was a, a, a church around the corner from where I used to live, and it's where my mum and dad got married. A proper, proper old school church, graveyard, the lot. And when I used to go and see my friend, I used to have to ride through this graveyard to get back home. And sometimes it'd be dark, and, and I'd be... Pooping myself on my bike, going 100 mile an hour through this graveyard. But in the middle of this graveyard, there was a crypt, or, or, or a, I don't think it's a crypt. What's what's the 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 the, 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 the tomb? A tomb, not a crypt. There was a tomb, <clears throat> and I could do when I've smelt this soil. I could just imagine the top of this tomb being moved off. And this tomb was surrounded by roses. And I could just imagine the, the musky air, the, the smell of decay and age coming out of this tomb, mixed with the rose, 
and that is what there's a sweetness to it there's a like Johan said with the hallows it's like you can imagine rotting flesh which is kind of bizarre really for a for a, a, a shave soap but the the notes and the journey that this soap takes you on which a lot of these soaps take you on is phenomenal it's it really is good it's not for everybody i mean some people might smell it and go my god that smells like a, an old dead cat that we found in road but for me it's it's unique and it's a lot of a lot of guys out there making soaps which are just homages to all scents that are already there um but i i find with will that you and with phoenix and Bo, that you get some unique these are our scents they're not you know copied from something else these this is our our uh, our scent and this is what this is this is it's Again, I'm not, I'm not knocking Phoenix and Bo because I, I, I might sound like I'm knocking them because I'm not giving a great explanation to the scent. It's, it's musky, it's earthy with a, a good hit of rose. It's not for the faint heart, hearted, but it is, for me, because I like those kinds of scents, it is phenomenal, it's, it's excellent. But when I, f I first got my first Phoenix and Bo, which was a Spitfire, again, I smelled it and I was like, oh my God, that's lovely. You know, leather... Le mainly leather for me, um, tobacco and all sorts of beautiful scents in it. I quickly followed it up with um, Baskerville and in my ignorance I went oh, I co took a quick smell and I went oh that's 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 just a, a cop out that, that's just exactly the same as Spitfire and oh, good soaps and I thought, and I, I had a bit of a negative reaction to it. But then I went back to Spitfire and smelled it alongside with the Baskerville. And I was like, oh, hold on a minute. No, one's leather, one's tobacco. So you've got your Baskerville, Baskerville, which is mainly tobacco coming forward. And then I got Obsidian and I thought, oh, this is, this is very similar as well. But, the, but when you, 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 you properly start to learn how to smell these scents and these soaps, the, 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 the different notes are coming out. So they're all along the same theme. So I, of the soaps I've got, I've got Spitfire, Baskerville, um, Obsidian, Whitechapel, and now Empress Rising. And they're all along the very uh, the same sort of genre. They're very dark, very earthy, very autumnal winter scents. Um, but when you, when you start to appreciate your, no, your nose and, and use it correctly. They are very unique individual scents. So I can't, I can't um, recommend Phoenix and Bow enough. I think they're an absolutely fantastic English company producing marvellous products. Um, I've, when I got this Empress Rising, I went for the full shebang. So I've got the, the Splash and I've got the Balm. Um, so yeah, it's... Um, it's a, a lovely soap, uh, if you get the chance to try Phoenix and Bow, get on with it. It's a, it's a great, great soap, great company run by Kerry and Sarah. The artwork, which to me, uh, I know there was a discussion about it not so long ago, about the artwork and does it make you buy things. Well, for me it does actually. Good, good artwork and good presentation really draws my eye towards a product. Um, I read the scent notes, obviously, but I'm no perfumier. I'm not a, you know, I'm not that excellent at, at uh, knowing what all these notes are. It's a lovely creamy lather. I've just shoved it together in a bowl. Now, normally, when I get a new product, I I go towards the same. Same shave for the first thing, so a new razor usually means Mitchell's wool fat and um, my Simpsons Best Badger brush. They're usually what I use for a new product to give it a, a review, but I, 
with this being a little bit of a, a thank you to Johan and a bit of a, a tiny Swedish theme to it. Now the soap, which I forgot to mention, is based on, a, I think it's a song by a Swedish, oh, what did it say? Death, death metal band or something. Matty will know, Monoloth they're called. And it's based, and I know Kerry from Phoenix Abode is a big uh, Led Zeppelin fan, like myself. But I think he also likes a little bit of like folk, rock, death, metal stuff. Might be wrong there, but possibly. But that's what it's based on. It's based on this, this Swedish band Monolov. Swedish Razor, English Soap, Yorkshire Man. Um, that looks like John L. Sullivan. And uh, here we go. So, first use. We'll have to go into looking mirror instead of messing about looking in camera. It sings. It come from Johan. Johan used it. There were no bits of flesh on it or anything like that, thank God. He said the edge was good. Ready to go. Sounds it, feels it. I have just got coming up to one days of growth. Uh, sorry, no, not one day, two days, two days of growth. It's singing. I've just had a, a nice shower and I've just finished my dinner. We had a roast chicken dinner, Yorkshire puddings done by our lass. Proper English Sunday roast on a Sunday. Fantastic. It's been snowing a little bit as well this weekend. A little bit on the tops, but we only had a We only had a flurry for about three or four hours, it didn't settle, so. Nothing major. What's it like in Sweden and Canada? Has it started snowing yet? Johan doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to persuade him to do a, an outside shave in the snow. Um, I think he's crazy enough to do it. So we'll see how we go with that. But that's definitely something I'm going to get Johan to do. Outside in the snow, Johan, please. With a vest on. There's been some football on this afternoon. <clears throat> I've not watched it because it's it's our our close neighbours, Pigs United, who have lost to Leicester. And I won't watch them if they were playing football in the back of my garden. I'd shut curtains. Fucking horrible team. Can't stand them. If they're a United fan, on fire in my garden, I wouldn't even piss on him. I can't stand him. But they've lost today, so that's good. I 
having to do a bit of manscaping around me, me John L. Sullivan. Or my little devil beard. Right, that's the first pass done. Put that down. Try and do a Jeffrey Smith style gentle wet the face. So they're a rough Yorkshireman. Look at the cream in that, look at it, lovely. Lords left. Get another quick whip up. Beautiful stuff. Yep, so Phoenix and Bo, get yourself on it. I know there's been a couple of guys over there. Cap has done some reviews on it, and I think Rudds did a, a, a mediocre review on one of their soaps. I've not seen quite. I've not seen a few reviews on Phoenix and Bo for a while. I think a, a great company, great soap. Uh, can't fault the products really. They've been. Every single one I've had, which is a lot, and I've got, you know, I've still got them. I've not, not got to the bottom of one yet. All been good soaps. In fact, there's there's not many soaps that I think are bad. You know, there's 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 not been any scent I've picked up yet, and gone, oh my god, that's horrible. There's been rubbish soaps. I got a, um, I don't know if you can get it anywhere else, it's called a Rasmic. Oh man, it's rubbish. Absolute garbage. I'm not even giving it a second go. It's, it's being recycled, shall we say. Even people say about Mitchell's, that they struggle with it and it's a bad soap, but for me it's the best. Definitely singing this razor, nice and sharp. There we go, two pass, that's done. That's me, only two pass shave. I don't show off like all these professional ones, three pass shaves. I stopped doing that when I learned how to shave. Lovely. Quick rinse.
Right, let's have a look what we got. It's not in there. Preparation, eh? Splash. Same thing, Empress Rising. Get some of that mixed in with Tash so I can keep smelling it. Oh. Earthy. Zombie. Mm, lovely. And then. Lotion. One pump and you get a good. A good lord. Sounds a bit pornographic that, doesn't it? Ooh. Beautiful. Right, well, Johan, thank you very much for the razor. Um, it's on par with the Sheffield not bad it's a decent razor Matty knows good razors and I've been excited to get this lovely little thing I appreciate that very good Sweden always always in the game absolutely top-notch thank you very much lads see you later bye bye